And then last year we had a strong dollar in 2014. The strong dollar makes our exports more expensive, makes our imports cheaper, it dampens foreign profits. So the companies that invest in, that are international, and our U.S. companies that are international global conglomerates, that are international companies that have both business outside the U.S. and inside the U.S., their profits are hurt by a stronger dollar. Profits earned in foreign currencies translate to fewer dollars. But here's the thing. Currencies fluctuate. The dollar won't strengthen forever. Everybody else's currencies won't go to zero. It's just not going to happen. It will flatten out. It will even potentially weaken in the future for, un for reasons we don't know at the present time. So check out this chart. This is a chart from January 22nd, 2005 through January 17th, 2015. And you'll see the blue arrows there. That's when the dollar hit peaks. And, and recently, you'll see on the far right hand side that the dollar has hit another peak. But you'll see, in 2005 it was high, then it went down, and then 2008 it was high, and then it went down, in 2010 it was high, and then it went down, 2012 it was high, and then it went down. And of course, now it's recently currently strong. It will flatten out or stay, it won't stay strong forever. Currencies fluctuate. Now, since the strong dollar hurt our international stocks, if it weakens in the future or if it even stays flat, it'll be okay for our international stocks going forward. And these things can't be predicted. <music>